Introducing John AI. Now John AI is a new open source software that you can easily install on your local machine, running with OpenAI models or Grok AI models. You can also run local, open source, large language models locally. For example, we have Llama 3, Mistral, all kinds of downloadable, open source, large language models. Now, you can run an alternative to ChatGPT that is fully local on your machine, and you can build a knowledge base on top of that by adding your own documents. It's able to chat using your own documents. Basically, you run an alternative to ChatGPT, but it's local on your machine. And here they have the setup guide on how to use, download, and run this software. There's support for Mac, Windows, and Linux, and you can also deploy it on a cloud server. For example, you can use Amazon's cloud or Microsoft Azure, with the most popular being Amazon Web Services using an EC2 instance. You're able to run this by choosing a GPU accelerated instance like the G5.x Large with NVIDIA GPU support, and you can run this on the cloud. It will incur some costs for the computing power once you deploy it with your cloud server using large language models like that. But that's up to you if you want to use that capability. It requires 100 GB of storage on Azure Disk or Blob Storage to create an instance running this. Adding models to Gen AI is pretty easy, and they support the Llama.cpp engine as well as the Tensor RT large language model engine. So, both engines for running large language models are supported in this software, and you're able to directly download the large language models through Hugging Face running them on your local machine without using OpenAI API keys. Of course, they support LM Studio and Llama integrations. By clicking in the settings, you're able to change the OpenAI interface engine and point that URL to your local machine with the dedicated port numbers for your LM Studio or Olama engine. Both work the same way in the configurations. They're able to connect with LM Studio Olama, and even if you have existing downloaded large language models in either system, you're able to integrate that with Jun AI. You can then base your knowledge base documents on top of those large language models and use Jun AI as an interface to chat with those documents, basically, having your own large language model AI system running locally on your machine. You can also directly download large language models within Jan AI without needing to install LM Studio or Olama separately. For OpenAI, it's pretty easy. They just import the API keys in the configuration settings. Same for the Grok AI as well. You have your URL and the API keys for Grok AI and Mistral as well. So it's very easy like other open source local AI software. But this one is more focused on end users because you just download an exe file for Windows or for Linux, you download the package, install it, and it runs as a native interface in your operating system. So everything here feels like a simplified version of using Olama or a fancier UI version of LM Studio. You can directly download a large language model within Gen AI. You can chat with your own documents on top of it. We're going to try that later, so how do you install this? First, you download your exe file and double-click it, click Run, and it will automatically run the entire Jan AI installation. Once it finishes, it will prepare any additional data needed. Now, I don't like icons on my desktop, so I'll throw that away. And here we go, we have the Jan AI user interface. Let's click to go full screen and see the Jan AI interface. So first, we see the main page, which is the chat area. In this tab, click into the download model page. You're able to download different open source models here. For example, Mistral, Llama 3, Gemma 7B, all kinds of open source large language models with smaller parameters that can run locally on your machine. They're available here. And as you can see, they have both file formats, the API, or the Hugging Face large language model files as well. You're able to download those and run them locally on your computer. And for OpenAI, Mistral API, and the Grok AI API, then you don't have to download anything.
just import the API keys and use that. So it's pretty handy and simple. And when you click into the settings, you can basically change the interface color like they said here. Also, the configurations for LM Studio and Llama, which is um, go to settings and extensions. In the extensions page, we're going to click the Open AI Interface Engine. Now I'm using Llama in this case. Then I'll copy this link for the Llama API and we're going to go to the settings. We scroll down to the extensions and see the Open AI Interface Engine. So right in this URL text box, we paste our Olama URL, which is a localhost URL for calling the API. And there's one problem with this software. They don't have a save button. You know, when I just paste the URL here and there's no save button, that's one UI improvement for this software. Uh, see, there's a localhost model that is already connected to our Llama instance. You can restart this server or restart the Gen AI software in order to connect with Llama. So going back here, as you can see, I changed the color because the white color theme was kind of hard to read the text on. I switched to a dark color theme and now I'm back on the models page. As you can see, another way is to download models directly in Gen AI using whichever open source large language model you want to use. So coming back to the settings page, you can see we can set the base color and in the advanced settings, we're able to choose the device that Gen AI will run on. In my example, I'm using an NVIDIA RTX 4090 graphics card to run Gen AI. It supports multiple devices, I believe. If you have multiple GPUs installed, you can choose any one of them or all of them. And then there's the Gen AI data folder setting. Now here's the fun part. They store all your messaging history, model configurations, and any data you import into this folder. If you import any private documents, it will store them in this data folder. Once again, in the OpenAI Chat Completion Endpoint interface, you can confirm it's connecting with your Llama or LM Studio instance if you prefer. In my case, this time, I tried to use GenAI's local download feature. I just want to test the whole workflow and see how it runs in GenAI once it finishes downloading. We can start chatting then, so let's walk through a simple prompt. I'll say, hi, introduce yourself, and see what the reply looks like. Okay, the loading speed seems kind of average, not really fast. I'm not sure if that's an issue uh, with the large language model itself or this software, but yeah, that first reply from the GLM 7B model looks pretty basic. Let's try adding some instruction text as a prompt to better define the assistant's role. I'll say, you are an AI assistant called Jen and you're going to answer my questions. Let's add a bit more prompt text in here to predefine its role and see if we get any improvement. One thing that should be set as a rule for this local large language model is that if it doesn't have knowledge about a topic, it needs to say so instead of making up answers. So let's try again. I'll ask what is space? And it's sending me this reply that's Basically, very general information talking about space, the Milky Way galaxy, and when humans started to explore space travel and all those kinds of things. You know, if you're using a local large language model without any fine tuning, training, or additional knowledge based data added, it will send you very general answers. If you want to do things like generate essays or articles, it won't perform well out of the box you'd need to add some text data or build a knowledge base on top of it using techniques like embedding and vector databases. In my Patreon community, where I will be helping Patreon supporters build RAG, embedding, and vector database, like that for their own use cases with large language models. If you need help, feel free to reach out in Patreon and we can discuss how we may be able to assist you. That's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.